Hi guys, welcome back to more episodes of The X-Files, the last episode with Smoking Man. Promising, literally, the world to Scully because he's dying and it's the cure to all known human disease. Time is too good to be true. Turns out it was. Didn't believe anything he was saying for a second. Um, and the weird part of it is right at the end, he takes the what the, the um, disc that's hold, supposedly holding all this information and throws it. There's more going to come of that at some point further down the line. I just don't know what. Right, let's carry on. Uh, just before I do, if you are enjoying the trip down memory lane with the X-Files, do not forget to hit the subscribe down here if you haven't already. And we will carry on with episode 16 of season 7. I hope there are some things they won't remember. Why do you know? What is she doing here? Taking it off. son is in Michelle's class. Like Might her. Be nice. <laughs> Nothing worse than housewives gossiping. I didn't see any bird, but whatever it was, it scared her and she wants to be with her daddy. That's all I'm saying. Oh, it's in the house. Oh, that's real bad luck. Not only might she be a female serial killer, rare in and of itself, but twice police raided that club to arrest her. That's very rare. And twice they came up empty handed. She's on tape going in. The exits are covered. She's nowhere to be found. Hey. Vigilance in the face of privation, the sheer will that it takes to sit in this crappy room, spying on the dregs of society until our suspect surfaces. This. Is she dead? Two weeks ago, a woman named Martha Crittenden disappeared from her home in Bethany, Vermont. Local police haven't turned up any sign of her. Disappeared. I'm hoping you may be able to. There may be aspects to this that speak to your strengths as an investigator. Okay. Specifically? Beds. Ravens. Mm. The, the raven is considered a, a very powerful symbol in certain yes. Norse, Celtic, and Native American cultures. Martha Crittenden's seven-year-old daughter claimed that she was attacked by a raven earlier the day her mother disappeared. I'm also assuming that the fact that Martha Crittenden's father is a federal judge also has a little bearing on this oh, Of course it does. So tell me about Martha Crittenden. Well, she and my wife, Ellen, they're best friends. Martha is well, that's much admired here. The other woman. Devoted to her family. Her husband was out of town when she disappeared. In Miami, at a conference. Now they watch a big ass house. Howard didn't have anything to do with this. Martha's last name isn't Stewart. <laughs> Tell me about it. Last year, this place made the cover of New England Home. You know what this is? You know what was hanging here? It was the mirror. It was a mirror. Yeah. It was found broken. You had no other signs of struggle? Not a one. Found something. Uh, birth control? Birth control pills. I think Martha was having an affair. They're in Martha's name. She ordered them off the internet. Of course, then I started looking all around and I... Wait a minute. Found this in the pocket of her favorite coat. I don't know what this goes to. Oh. I understand why he's, he's connected the dots with that now. I should have just shut up. <laughs> What's he got with this town? Cute kid. Oh, She's something Jenny. to do with this. Was she a witch? Hey, maybe you would like some of these to put up on your side of town. My side of town. Sounds supposed to me. Yeah, sure. Oh. Look, I, I didn't mean that. Okay. Right, let's do it. It's 15 minutes in, right? I've not done this for a while. I'm calling it right now. There's obviously a difference in um, class here. And for those that are on the privileged side of things like her and the woman who's gone missing, Martha, very privileged, probably filthy rich. Usually it's the husbands, especially in this sort of midtown America sort of set up suburban area. This other woman has moved close to the area, but as she says, she lives on the other side of town. Um, maybe she's a wedge. 
And maybe she's sick and tired of all of you lot looking down your nose at her and the raven's something to do with it and it's why you know what, I won't be surprised if she goes missing next. I'm just calling it. That's just completely random. Let's see where it goes. I wouldn't rule it out, but I doubt it. According to your Audubon book here, a raven has four talons. That matches four. the scratches we found on Martha Crittenden's mantle. Agent Mulder, I uh, appreciate the different tactics you're taking on this investigation, but, but this whole bird thing? And keep in mind, you're basing this on the word of a seven-year-old girl. Mirrors are considered items of enchantment, a broken one. It means something. I don't, I'm not exactly sure what no, it means. No, I'm not exactly sure what it means something. either. He may also not want to see his own reflection because it's a mirror to the other side. We are so grateful that you're here to help find Martha. It's Spare really room. the least we can do. <sighs> well, the fern is broken. I can just about see my breath in here. Uh, Ouch. Sorry to hear that. But as of yet, no mystery woman. Well, she'll come, you know. It is, it's just a matter of time. She'll show up. I'm sure of that. Yeah, well, not before I die of malnutrition. It is. How the hell did she know that was there? Weird, man. Oh, Christ, I think you may have just found your wife. Oh, that looks really bad. She's buried it on your own property. Howard said something about ravens. Yeah, feeding on her, see? Yeah. I'm not arresting Howard. I don't care how it looks. Body he wasn't here. In his own yard. He didn't do this. I agree. Poor guy suffered enough already. You said the car window shattered after you saw a reflection. And there's a broken mirror in Martha's house. I don't think that's a coincidence. Where they thought they could summon forth spirits from the spirit world. From the other Denizens side. From the spirit Precisely world what I said. World. Denizens of the spirit world. What if this entity that you saw is somehow a personification of that? What if... This creature was brought forth in order to attack Martha. We understand there was no love lost between you and Martha Crittenden. And where do you understand that from? Queen Martha and her perfect little Easter egg hunts. There we go. She's so above the rest of us. I gotta get back to work. Don't have enough. I don't know about you. Don't have anything. I believe her. She didn't do it. I just don't get that vibe. It's a, it's a non-stop parade of every single low life imaginable. Well, the view may not be too different here. There's plenty of those areas here. Nice, sir, but underneath the surface, it's the same seamy underbelly. Well, there's a murder victim that I'd like you to autopsy for me. What do you think? Anything to get her out of watching this. Scully? Oh, has she turned up? Hello? That van is bad. But yeah, you could have the same seedy underbelly here. It's just coated in niceties. <gasps> I feel Get like there's her. some secret being harbored here. Just, uh, yeah, you really do not want a raven anyway, uh, baby. And there we go again. This is so weird. Form of reflective surface. How are you feeling a little better, Alan? Can you no. just talk to me a little bit about what happened? Please don't encourage this. This is not what she needs. I believe Same. she saw something. What about the two broken mirrors? What about them? You think broken mirrors have some deeper meaning, but you still can't tell me what it is. The key again. I knew it was staring at something. What's number six? It's a match to the one Howard Crittenden found in his wife's coat pocket. Do you recognize this key? Oh, I was sweeping the floor and I got caught up in the sweeper. I, I'm never saw it before today. Let me see if my department can run this down, find out what lock it goes to. I mean, it's not even as if this thing is trying to direct you when it turns up to wherever door or whatever it is that this key opens. Now, where the hell are you going? That's definitely plausible as well, or does he know what this key opens? Oh, yeah, of course. Huh? No, we gotta stop. Well, that's too bad. Yeah, looks like he's stopping right now. And she had the audacity to talk his wife down when she had a go at her. Oh, hey, good morning. Good morning, Ellen. Wow. Uh -huh. 
I, have you seen my shirt? Oh, I, I'm sorry. It. It's over here. I also love breakfast. Whenever my life's a mess, I just do some housework. <laughs> I get the feeling you're not used to anyone taking care of you. I also get the feeling that she's flirting with him. Does she know? And she's in... You, you see, this this can happen. It does happen a lot. We know this. Women in these sort of circumstances, they are... She just admitted herself, or she's as a housewife. It, and she, that's all she does. It gives her the illusion she has control. She doesn't. The people who have control in these sort of relationships are the men because they are the, the, the money makers, the earners. They're the, they're the providers. And a lot of the times the women are stepping out. A lot of times the men are stepping out. A lot of times both of them are. Does she know that her husband's going on and she's just... She's in denial of it. And the minute a new man's come along the scene, even though it's just mulder being here to investigate, she seems to be being awfully... I don't know what words you just nice, you know? Doting over you. Women Sleep always well. know. Uh, I only woke up once when you went out. Yeah, oh, where'd you go? be quieter next time. The autopsy shows that Martha Crittenden was four weeks pregnant when she died, despite her birth control pills. Oh. Probably didn't even know it. Just say what's on your mind, Agent. Really weird thought here. I'm sorry I keep pausing it, but it gives me a chance to collect my thoughts and not talk over all the dialogue. I know a lot of reactors do that. I'm one that doesn't. <clears throat> I've got all this backwards. Is it him? Is he doing this? Was he also having an affair with her as well? Is he... Is he impregnating all these women. I don't know. You have a piece of evidence in your possession that I'd like back. A skeleton key. Yeah, I'm looking at you in a different line now. This looks a right crappy lodge where we used to meet her. Huh? Mommy had to work a double shift. Huh? I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna come home and make you breakfast. Thank you, Mabby. For a visit. That's it. Stop it. Stop it. Now then, she. I think she stabbed that in the back. All this yeah, is misdirection. I said we should have. I left her sleeping. So you were having an affair with both Jenny and Martha Crittenden. Yep. But I'm assuming That's no one why they hated each other. No. But even if she did, she'd find a way to rationalize it. Oh, told you why I said that. I'm not myself, but two years ago I wanted a divorce. Ellen won't hear it. Anyway, what about the broken mirrors and the raven? You said that it was a, an entity that did this. Don't you still believe that? I said it was an entity summoned by somebody else. Look, I'm in a bit of a situation here, and there's things we need to talk about. He said she rationalizes everything. He asked her for a divorce, then she got pregnant. You go to sleep now. Okay, baby. Is that why he's making the two affairs he was having? Yeah. Making him take birth control pills. He doesn't want any more. It's her. Oh no, we caught her, but uh, she isn't a serial killer. Nor is she a blonde. Nor is she, she a she. she isn't even a she. A she. <laughs> well, what are you talking about? Happens to go by the name of Mark Scott Egbert. And Mr. Uh. Egbert wishes to acquaint lost souls with the teachings of Christ. Ellen, I think you have a whole other side that you're afraid to face. That would explain all the broken mirrors. It's all lies. What are you then? Look at her eyes. I wish you'd never come here. Uh -oh. You need to open this door. You, you don't want to see her dark side, because there it is. Oh, shit. There goes the mirrors. Oh, my God. She's just chewing out of all the fuck. Reflection. <gasps> ah, you can't stop a reflection in war, can you? Can't break that. And it's, it's all these small moments of this, and then she goes back, see? Did he help create this in her by his... No. 
problem, sir. Adulterous ways. That doesn't explain what happened, does it? No, it... I think it's about as close as science can come. I think the yeah. basic idea is right. I think in Ellen's case, the changes were just a lot more extreme. Mm. Like Jekyll and Hyde. And like you said, I think she had to rationalize that. The raven follows her. She's a pretty woman, too. The two women he had an affair with were as pretty as she was. Go figure. Okay, guys, episode 16. Do you know what's more common than you think? Men who have an affair. Or even if it's not just an affair, it's just they're all sleeping with someone else. A lot of the time, the person, everyone naturally assumes they cheat with someone younger, prettier, richer, whatever. It's usually the opposite. And in that guy's case, <clears throat> the two women he was having an affair with were, from from what I saw of the normal side of his wife before this thing came out of, in her, that he helped create, his wife's pretty and wanted the perfect home, wanted the perfect life. And the minute you felt you were trapped by her because she got pregnant, all this kicked off. Um, I, I don't quite, there's not really a rational explanation for it, nor is there a proper rational explanation between the link between her, the, the darker side and the creature that comes out of her and the raven. But they go hand in hand. What I will say is, I got that wrong like three times in a row. <laughs> I first thought it was the first woman, the second girl that he was having an affair with. It wasn't. Then I thought it was him. It wasn't. And it turned out to be his wife. But she was. Although she was doing all this rational, rationalizing, there was that moment there, that scene, sat down with Mulder where she was trying to push herself onto him. All she wants is that perfect life. A home a kid, a husband, live happily ever after kind of thing. And she was happy to just be a housewife. And I could see her starting to try and get her claws into Mulder. Pardon the pun. <laughs> but that that was unusual in the fact that I don't I don't think we've ever had an episode before where a split personality or dissociative disorder has come out and manifested as physically as something as big and strong as that it's usually if they do have split personality or anything it's still physically that person and that's why the mirrors all broke because she couldn't she couldn't dare to see the other side inside her very very well written and orchestrated for us to keep going it's him it's her it's him it's her and we should have been looking at the wife the whole time And what was this dude's problem? Really? An affair's not enough. You have to have two. <laughs> and you were obviously still sleeping with your wife as well because you've had a kid. Wow. Anyway, I thoroughly enjoyed it. That's another, yet another really, really good episode. That that was better than probably I initially thought it was going to be in the first 10, 15 minutes or so, especially because it threw me off. And I like episodes that do that, that make you think, that make you question, that, that turn tables on you. And just as Sc Scully spent the whole episode bitching and complaining at watching all the dregs and society in the city where, where they were, um, it turned out to be the same sort of thing. It was misdirection and the person that you're looking for is right under your nose and that's exactly what Scully had to put on with total different contrast there between the two whereas Mulder spent the, the a few days in the nice sleepy you know nice sleepy uh suburban town in comfort while Scully is right at the opposite end of it I, I enjoyed that right um we'll be back with episode 17 next if you are wanting to watch any of these episodes in uh, full length, especially as we're like seven seasons in now, all you need to do is check the link in the description, take you over to Patreon, you can watch them all over there. And I would appreciate if you enjoyed the video, guys, push comments down below. Don't forget to hit the subscribe and give the video a thumbs up. Hit the red button down here, and I will see you for episode 17 next. Take care. Don't